Ha ha! Welcome back. It's been a while, I know, but we're back for another trip. A trip into Europe. But where are we going this time? Just going to pick up my brother and then we're going to head down to Portsmouth to pick up the Galatia Ferry, which departs at half past nine on a Friday evening. And we arrive Sunday morning in Santander. So, let those titles roll! We are off to the Pyrenees. We're going along the Pyrenees and along southern France, down to the southeast quarter of uh, southern France, like Verdun, Vercors. Um, right some balcony roads so yeah we've got a route already mapped out and ready to rock and roll and what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll stick a Google Maps link if you want to sort of like, see where we are going because who knows it might differ because you might hit an issue or two I hope not we're going to try and do this in seven days or eight days if you want to include our little trip down to Portsmouth this very fine evening and we're going to hit the A27 out from Shoreham along the south coast down towards Portsmouth and which should take us about an hour and 20 minutes to get down there. For the moment you don't want to solve, I see the rundown so uh, we'll catch you when we get to Portsmouth. Here he is. Hey! Hello, cuz. You alright? Yeah, good. Good one down. Hi, Joe. Nice to meet you, Nino. How are you doing? You alright? Good. Good, Joe. Yeah, that's cool, Phil. How are you doing? Then that'll be my bed, I can still my stuff on there. Yeah, likewise. Cool. And the bathroom. Cool, that's nice. Oh, decent shower as well. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, I swear I could pick now. Ah, oh, push down. Portsmouth. in the morning. Good morning. 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 Oh. morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast time. Oh, I'm still feeling it after getting to bed at three o'clock this morning. Yeah. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that's warm, isn't it? It's lovely. This is lovely, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. go we're back in spoon it's actually half past eight just grab Joe in front of me are you'll be on Phil there you go lovely well at least it's not raining actually it's not looking too bad <laughs> Espanoli Galicia la, 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 la. Oh, got a little bit of waiting to do I can get uh, Calamat up and running Oh, it's raining oh. Turn right There's a rainbow to welcome us Customs control, I don't know which way to go Oh, there oh, Yeah, as we came out of the ferry, they've introduced a new route system, so you're basically straight onto the motorway instead of going right through Santander down. It makes uh, a bit of sense. But anyway, you don't want to see this. Uh, we'll catch you in a bit. Oh, the weather's improving. Oh, yeah. Have some of that. Give us a wave, Dave. View. Driven from Santander, hit the motorways, and then we just got to Pamplona, and then we just got ridden just north of Pamplona, and uh, just started to hit sort of like these really, really superb but very, very quiet roads. Amazing. There's a lot to cover. Let's go back to a montage. <laughs>
after our first night so this is where we stayed not a bad hotel all right doing our set menu in the evening uh, in the restaurant it's really good
expect too much on this one. Our room is just awful. Premier class, anything up, but horrible. Never stay here again. Good morning. Weather looks blooming awful. Gonna head our way up to Ailes today. It's about 250 miles, and we're just gonna cut cross country. Um, Dave and uh, Joe, they're gonna make their merry way sort of like separately. But uh, yeah, we're gonna maintain the route that we had planned to do today. So we're going to rest some breakfast and get on the road. D129. Let's get going. Like the most picturesque roads in the world but the roads are good especially today as we're transitioning to Isles. There we are, cooks up the car but there but there but there. Still left about half an hour just to uh, Charge the plaque talk up because I've got to charge up last night. <sighs> Quick drink, and now we're on our way again. Right on the D62. Of a serious little twist is down here. This is on the D9. Kind of love a little village coming here, just like nestled into the side here. This is uh, La Tourette Cabard Cabardes. La Tourette Cabardes. Wow, look at that to the right. Cool, that's one hell of a view, isn't it? Oh, wow. Oh, over the other side, I thought it was this side. Oh, it was this side, not this side. Wow, look, go down that bit over there. Ho, oh, ho, 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 ho. Well, a little surprise. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> what a cracking little road! Superb! But, many pickles! Yeah! <laughs> oh, what a little gem! This is like proper back roots of France, isn't it? Yeah, they know it's still sunny on that. Oh. So I unfortunately saw that. There's no warning signals or anything, it's just, just, just there. So expect the unexpected.
I found the D169 and again these are like proper back rows of France tight hairpins that's what I love about these rows there's absolutely no other traffic than that on them and you get little pockets of gems along here as well these type of rows can be a little bit hard work <laughs> oh Calamo, what are you doing to us? D169 on the route de Lax and actually this road is pretty good but that wind is becoming a bit of a use and it's hit the side of my helmet from the left side I'm just pushing myself into it God that wind You know, these kind of roses, not what we had in mind. You know, for us, yeah, not a problem, we can we can hack it, but when I uh, sit down tonight, I'm going to have to go for like more no motorway. But then you do a road like that, and then you come out to see something like that. I mean, it sort of tends to make it worthwhile, but still, it's bloody hard work. <laughs> well, hopefully, we'll be on this type of road for the remainder of the uh, run down to... LA or Ailes, I'm sure I keep getting it wrong. Oh my goodness me, Phil. D25. Have you seen what's ahead? <laughs> he hasn't finished with us yet. D25, where is this? See, Patience is a virtue, mate. We've been through like some rough roads, so you think, oh, oh what's, there's nothing really going on here, and then you see this. Should we go and do it then? Yeah, let's go do it. Oh my god. I wonder if Dave and uh, Joe picked this road up. Yeah, they probably did. How deep it is down there. Look at the drop. I've got to take a photo. Let's have a quick look. This is just awesome. Yeah, it's oh. fantastic, isn't it? Whoa. Nice room did he want? <laughs> Oh, what an epic 
wait to finish the day, bro. Mm. There goes show you the real windies. Not quite oh as good. God. This is what you want. The scenery as well. Yeah, good way to finish. Epic. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, beautiful, man. Beautiful. Oh, that's one for the memory books. Oh, yes. Just remember D25. Oh, what a road. What a road. We've got a diversion. <laughs> Don't go down the D25, and there was, we hit a road closed. And then, it just so happened, Jason, there was a, a track, this one, I thought it was actually a main road, but it actually joins up ahead. But my god, this is challenging. Oh my goodness me. You right, bro? But we've got no choice, I've got to go all the way back where we came from try and find a different route but that someone took a photo at the top up here which I know there's obviously been another Kalamoto user taking the photograph so it must connect it must well this adds to the our adventure oh, all because of a road closure oh my goodness me right are you alright dude? Yeah, we didn't have this in mind. That shit's getting easier, Phil. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, I'm not stopping for photos, if you don't mind. Oh, we go left here. Oh, that was... Uh, Interesting, mate. Whoever took that photo back there, I thank you because that provided me a reassurance to take this road. So I thought if your bike can do it, then so could mine. Oh, tarmac! Oh, some road to crunch through some miles on the D999. I'm going to get a bit tired now. It's been a difficult day. <laughs> oh, on the D982, it's certainly been a long day, but we are looking forward to that point now. But at least the sun is out, it's warm, so it's a nice finish to the day. So we've got another 15 miles to go. So we can sort ourselves out for the evening. Oh, good morning. Bit of a later start this morning. It's now 10 o'clock. This is where we stayed last night. Really helpful. And Shelley, thank you so much for your hospitality uh, at the hotel last night. That was lovely, you know. Um, she works here so on the reception, but uh, yeah, she's British originally, but she's been here for the last 17 years. And uh, yeah, she sort of like, just stayed a little later last night, having a cup of tea, and while we had a, an extra beer or two before we went to bed. Um, just yeah, just chatting as you do. So, Shelley, thank you very much indeed. So we're just going to make a merry way down to Castellane. And Phil just organised his chain this morning, just adjusted it. So it's part of the reason why we're a little bit later. Anyway, it's good to have you two boys back today. Alright, we're going to head towards, uh, yeah, Avignon, Castellane, and hopefully try and pick up the Verdun Gorge. Yeah, like last, yesterday, I, on the camera, I really didn't know how to pronounce sort of like Ailes or Alle, but I'd never have guessed it was uh, pronounced Alice. Alice? Alice. Who the.
so forgiving, aren't they? Turn it here. Right, the top up here, Dave. We're going to stop here for a photo. Wow! Wow, 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 wow. I think this is a shot for in front of that box as well, isn't it? Yeah. Photo opportunity time. Mate, that was a spirited ride up there. Go on the boys. Yeah, nine five three two point moisture. They say it takes about 20 minutes to do. I just want to stop here just briefly, give you some idea. Oh my goodness me. Oh my god. <laughs> god blimey. I can't do heart seeing the best of times. See the, see the burn. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's bonkers. <laughs> Makes you feel giddy, doesn't it?
Oh my god. That is just awesome. Nice. I like a tight one. <laughs> I ain't joking. A lovely tight hairpin. Oh yeah, this is one of my favourites. It's a dog leg. A round. There yeah. Yes. Bring on, bring on, bring on. <laughs> yes, come on chaps. What a lovely way to end the day. Now I'll tell you what, I'm glad we did what we did. Oh, Dave's off plane. Can't catch up with him now. <laughs> he's off, he's off. That's nice. Oh, we've got a sand horn. Whoa! <laughs> wow! 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 Oh! Oh God! This road's on the overhang. Oh my goodness me! Couldn't. It's living amazing. Amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh my life! Nature has. Oh, 
God, how blessed to refill been the life today. I am in all. Yeah, taking my motorcycle license probably one of the best things I've done. Oh, it gives you the freedom, doesn't it? Let another overhang. <laughs> Warming up as well, isn't it? Six o'clock in the evening, and it is dead quiet. <laughs> oh what oh this is this is a top road the D952 top road wow how high is that this is just one of those epic roads Castellane and we've got ourselves a hotel just down here on the right hand side called La Petite Auberge that's it that's where we're staying boom ba dum ba dum ba dum Good morning, the sun is joining us once again. This is the back of the car park to Le Petit Auberge Hotel that we stayed in last night. Well, and this morning we're going to do the route de Napoleon up to Grenoble and that's where we'll stay for tonight. And then my cousin and his friend Joe, they're going to crack on so they can get back home for tomorrow evening. And my brother and I, we're going to stay for another night in France and get back on Saturday, two days time. Are we ready to rock and roll then? Cool. You all right? Yeah. Who yeah. there, up there. That's route to Napoleon, south. We want to go north. All right, keep right. <laughs> Yeah, where is our hotel? There it is. Lovely square here. We ain't just up there at La Forge, the Petit Auberge, and that was our room up there. Lovely. Nice breakfast. Really nice, wasn't it? Really nice. Yeah, best uh, best hotel of the break. Yeah, 151 miles. Not a long day today. We'll be there not like, four hour ride time. That'll suit us. Oh, just leaving Castellane, we're on a D4085, heading north, heading back home.
bit of a turn up for the books. My clutch has uh, gone, and by the looks of things, it's been pissing out the oil out of the master cylinder. And we haven't got any uh, mineral oil or anything to replace it, so uh, using normal engine oil, and just as well, at least if we can get ourselves and that on the go, um, I think it'll be a case of just hitting the, the main roads on the way back up to Calais. But we'll still do the, the two hotels that we had planned. I wasn't expecting this, but hey ho, it is what it is. Alright, well after that unscheduled stop, no clutch, I've now got a clutch. Thanks boys for sorting us out, it works, it'll, it'll be enough to get us home. That was the first time we've seen rain since Santander. Yeah, that's not a good sign. There are we on the D1075 and the rain's got us. Oh, motos, there we go. Got a couple of motos. Got a box all parked up for the evening. Lovely. Well, we found ourselves here in Grenoble. So we're going to stop here for the night. It's five o'clock. And my cousin and uh, his friend Joe. They're going to make their way back home. They're going to go up to Dijon. See you later, mate. See you later, mate. Have fun. Right side. See you later! And then there was two. And there was two. Right, <laughs> well, let's go and sit there and get chipped in and um, yes. get a beer. There you go. That's it. I wonder what these rooms are like. That's nice. And tea and coffee. Do you know what? This is the first hotel they've actually supplied tea and coffee. That's all we want. Oh, good morning. Nice little moto spot for us. Husqvarna's 401. That's the Norden, I think. There's yeah. Got a little juke there. I want that one. I want that one. Anyway, but I love that one. I want that one. Love that one. Can't have two though. Got no room in the garage. Right today, change of plan again. This is why we love touring. Uh, today we were going to sort of like head up to our next stop, but Cumlaval is only about an hour away. So that's where we're going to head. It's a balcony road, uh, close to Grenoble, and it looks amazing. So we're going to head up there before we then ride to our next stop. And then tomorrow we ride to Calais back home. So let's get in the saddles and ride. So say 208 miles, and we'll be at a destination for about quarter to two, if we didn't stop. It's eight o'clock now, or 10 past eight. So I think we allow in two hour stoppages, should be there for about quarter to four, four, maybe half past four. And this is where we stayed last night, just north of Grenoble. Good spot. Nice hotel. Great food. Lovely wine. Lovely beers too. Yeah, clutch is biting at the top. That's good. D105F. Look at that up there. Wow. Are the old touring gods looking down on this field, do you think? Or, or have I just just jinxed it?
It's pretty, isn't it? What a brilliant ball is riding. But they've been in the saddle an hour. Here we are. Coombe Laval is not too far away now. It's uh, approximately 16 kilometres. It's not very long. We're on the D2, which will turn into the D76. It's looking a bit uh, cloudy up there. I don't think we'll probably see it a lot, but it's dry. Come on, Dino. <laughs> nice view over there. to make progress now so we're heading home and the last thing we want to do is hit those motorways so that's why we're minimizing the motorway run today 
and that'd be all motorway tomorrow. And then we'll book uh, Channel Tunnel this evening when we get to the hotel. The prices are showing around about £67 per rider, like mid Saturday afternoon. So once we get to the hotel, we'll have an idea of what time we need to leave, what time we should be at Calais. We're thinking it'd be uh, worth rolling at 8, and then we should reach Calais for an anticipated time of 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Louis D84 and then we're going to go D65B oh, I've just done a payage just try and cover a bit of ground out towards Geneva and Borg Try for a coffee and a bite to eat Right, oh, it's the last stint 125 miles, be there in about two hours. Look at that sky now, Phil. Yeah, there's now 50 and a half degrees. Feels so much more comfortable now. 22 miles and then we come off. And so just got to the last bit of our trip. Just um, come through the tolls, had a bit of a quick bum break and we've got another 15 miles along a very straight road up the D974. The sun's out, it's warmed up and it's really lovely. Twelve miles of dead straight road. Here it is. Our accommodation for the final night. Bikes here. Ta da! Got motel rooms, I think about 30 bedrooms. Bar, restaurant, not more jewel. And the sun's out. That's it. And it's only up past three in the afternoon. Nice and easy. Fantastic. Until tomorrow. Oh, good morning everybody. It's a very early morning. Six o'clock start and uh, we're now wet weather gear because after looking at the general tunnel times yesterday, all bookings to back to the UK are sold out all afternoon. So we're having to get up early. We got up at five, get our gear on, clear the wet weather gear because we've got about three hours of rain ahead. Brilliant hotel that we stayed at last night. I'm just going to fill up and then hit the old toll roads to make our way back to the UK, so you can probably imagine, not much to see here. So for now, catch you in a bit. We've got this for the next few hours. Ugh. Well, to be fair, we've been lucky all week. So we've been here through this just for a couple of hours, I don't mind. Alright dudes. What's an absolute Stopped at services, refueled, and we're going to be in for another, sort of like another 180 miles before we get to Calais. We had a slight problem with the bike, the clutch has uh, gone, but we just re-bled it. Back on the road again, so uh, yeah, weather's looking good ahead. At least it's not pissing down the road. Pretty well. Can we still make it to the channel tunnel? 